hello everyone and before we start this video i want to thank you all for showing your support in my last video on how educational institutes and coaching mafias are making fool out of freshers so if you haven't watched this video like click on the i button above and you can view it and in this video like uh, we are going to discuss if you are planning to start uh, the like learning automation so what are the points which you need to keep in mind and uh, like what are the hindrances that can come into your way and that will not be able to like you will not be able to learn automation okay and uh, the target audience for this video is all those guys who are planning to learn automation or are currently in stage like currently learning selenium okay and this video will be specifically regarding automation okay so and if you already know like uh, if you are good in automation i will suggest you to skip this video so it will save your time and if you are watching this video i'll suggest you to like switch your speed to 1.5x uh, that will also save your time so let's start and so before we start like let me tell you that this video is for anyone who is like 2 to 10 years of experience okay now why like i have given this range because like if you are currently like one year of experience okay so let me like take a new page and there yeah here yeah, let me start that like if you are currently at uh, one year of experience so if you have like already studied manual testing and you have like uh, some idea regarding automation okay and you have like learned automation in your third or fourth year or you are good with like ja basics java and everything so you can start you can start this video otherwise like those guys who just like out of college have no idea and just recently started so i suggest you to at least spend one year learning manual testing and basics after then uh, like start learning automation okay so basically like this video is for anyone like 1 to 10 years of experience and why this upper limit like again i have said in my previous videos that uh, there is like no right time of learning anything but still like at 10 years of experience if you are learning automation then some more things are expected out of you okay so not just a selenium they expect you selenium that is automation plus at least a rest api and they also expect you that uh, you should have worked on any cloud tech or maybe javascript like cypress or playwright okay so i'm writing it down so these are like basic stuff which is expected of it out of a 10 year um, experience guy so if you are starting uh, started learning automation there is no harm but that will not help you in like uh, growing your career not just growing but switching your career that what i meant to say okay so i hope you got my point that uh, just at 10 year of experience just learning selenium will not help you okay and at this level you are expected like basic tl behavior so like apart from your uh, basic programming knowledge and everything you should know how to lead a team and in case like other stuff also okay so let us start that once we are clear that for whom this video is okay so if you have just started learning automation i'll suggest you to either know java or python or at least c sharp basics because i have made this mistake myself before that i was not fully aware of java concept i was like not aware of oops i didn't know how or like i know what is constructor but where do we use it like this keyword these are very basic basic things of a language which which you should be like aware of if you are planning to learn automation okay so my first suggestion will be like pick up uh, no a programming language pick up a programming language and uh, right now like my personal favorite is java after that i am also like okay with c sharp so and python is for anyone like uh, who is into artificial intelligence or uh, let's say cloud also so like that totally depends on you 
every language is good but uh, like most of the guys go with java just because like there are lot of resources available online okay now after that once you have like uh, cleared your language so let's say you are okay with java basics okay you have done this part now if you don't have patience and you are in a rat race and trying to learn everything in like one week or two week then they, you are going to struggle a lot okay so i suggest you to give at least 3 month for a fresher fresher means who was who is learning um, automation for the first time okay so at least uh, give yourself 3 month time period make make a structure that how you are going to learn it basically uh, like first day, like first month for basic automation i mean uh, basic selenium stuff the architecture and xpath locators everything css okay the next uh, one month you can spend on the advanced selenium part okay and in the third month like here uh, you can look in the advanced and in the third month you can look into the framework designing okay so this much is expected out of uh, an automation engineer that he should know how like even if he don't know he or she don't know how to make a framework but if i give him a framework he should be able to tell me that okay what is the folder structure and by looking at the framework he can decode it how things are working over it and make a diagram on how different components are integrated with with each other so i hope uh, like uh, just my point of uh, saying is that don't rush into things just have some patience and uh, make it step by step now i have seen um, guys and i have done this mistake myself that uh, only watching the video and not practicing the code okay so this this thing is very big no no okay so if you have watched a video on like uh, how to find xpaths okay so get your hand dirty and uh, open the console and uh, try to like automate or look out for those locators which are not covered in the video all right so the basic one is like just go to google search and uh, try how to like enter anything into the search box okay this is a very famous example and i believe that in the first time i was not able to do it at least so just practice this okay i am highlighting this part practice now many guys don't know how the code is flowing so if we have let's say three methods and so all those guys who has not like their oops concept are not good so they don't know how the code is flowing from one point to another and the one more point is like uh, you should know how to debug okay put debug points and uh, like from the main method how your code is going to which method and which function is like with which method is getting called so please like you should be aware of how and everything is working so uh, like look out for debug videos over youtube and uh, learn them okay now coming to the next point again a very common mistake which guys do is that once they struggle they leave everything and you don't have to like leave just uh, like google uh, it like errors and let's say uh, like you have got stale element exception okay so if you get if you go, uh, get an error so just uh, like search it over the net and in that you like you are preparing exceptions also okay exceptions and error and everything so this is a part of learning so if you are getting some kind of error okay either your like jdk version is not correct or that is not compatible okay so these kind of basic basic things you have to look uh, over the net and i'm sure there are hundred of guys like you who are learning and who are posting stuff on stack overflow so here like let me um, like add this stack overflow 
is your god like for everyone in it industry so look out for all those errors which you are getting and it will help you in learning again this point is related to this like a google error and uh, try to understand that if you are uh, facing some problem so that uh, like overcoming it will definitely make you stronger okay so understand it this way and one more mistake which i have seen is like preparing for interviews so there is nothing wrong in it but try to understand that uh, like if you give yourself one month and after one month you decided that okay i'm going to prepare for interview then i'm sure that like, you're going to fail okay so neither you're going to prepare your java code like nor your preparation good and not nor you're going to clear the interviews okay so there may be some guys who maybe read 50 questions on selenium and got through but not everyone is that much lucky and believe me guys even if you like uh, learn it for the interview you are going to struggle in the real job okay so i have seen guys like uh, cracking the interview but but struggling in uh, doing the actual work because they, their concepts are not uh, clear it's fundamentally clear okay so like again coming to this part that cover your basics and go step by step and i'm sure like both these things like you are going to clear the interviews plus you will be in a position to understand and work better and once you understand something now you also enjoy your work so this is also a very good part because what's the point of uh, doing or learning anything if you're not enjoying it okay so this is very much important don't just uh, learn automation for interview one more thing that uh, you have like your four friends are preparing for automation and uh, in that you are trying to uh, like learn automation so that should not be the case it should like again the same thing that if you are above one year of experience and uh, there is a need for you to learn automation okay i have seen good manual testers also but nowadays like things are changing there is no job for like a lone manual tester okay it can happen that um, like you are your interview is taken on automation and you are doing manual work that is like the at least 20 percent of the cases which i have seen but again don't jump in in your peer pressure for anything that's just not alone automation but anything do it when you are ready and you feel like actually doing it okay and if you do it this way you are again going to fail it that i'm sure because like all these points i have gone through them personally and uh, that's that's how it is okay and this is very important point different source of learning this is the mistake which i have made and let me like tell you how was it so the first thing which i covered uh, is java basics okay so if you are learning oops concepts from one person okay let's say from a and advanced java from b so there is a certain methodologies and uh, what do you call it let's say like the style of teaching is pretty different okay so you are going to struggle because whatever you have learned here although like b is also teaching the same but the style of teaching is different and that way like you will not be able to relate with the concept between these two by advanced java i mean uh, collection frameworks okay and in that like you have got your map and hash map and everything because this much is pretty necessary again the array plus array list and you should be aware of strings what is the difference between string buffer when do we use it so these are very basic basic things again like uh, why we moved to array list and what was the need of uh, like going to linked list again like queue set everything so like initially i'll not recommend you to learn all this but again when you are done with the basic java you should uh, like have 
some basics concept at least at least learn array plus strings because you are going to encounter string a lot in your framework and uh, that's how it is so if you have learned basics from somewhere else and you are learning like this collection framework from a different source and again like uh, you are learning selenium from person c so obviously like the code which he is going to write like he is going to use bilocators and you have like used your xpath although like these are the same thing like you can pass your xpath here but there are some like some tutors which i have seen they like in in, in their framework itself they use bilocators okay so what i'm trying to use uh, what i'm trying to say here is that like this style of teaching matters a lot and if you are comfortable with a please like go from a b c in this manner okay don't like jump from here to there and like you have learned one one thing from one channel and second thing from other so don't like don't do this mistake like at least once follow this approach and uh, learn from a single teacher that's what i meant to say okay and this thing i like repeat in almost my second or third video that let's say on one day you have gave 6 hours and then there was a gap of one week and on after second like after one week you again give sec, uh, six hours so like following this approach is not good and you should like at least uh, devote one hour daily so this approach is 10 times better than the above one okay so just practice daily and uh, whatever or what you can do is that let's say day one uh, like theory that means you are going to watch the lectures and you are not going to proceed further till you have practiced whatever was told the day before okay so practice and i have covered this part above also okay and as you move forward like on probably day 40 just uh, like watch plus practice and i'm sure you will not face any problems so that's it guys that's some points which you have to like consider while learning automation and uh, in this week uh, like earlier i told you that uh, we are going to learn automation but before that what i'm thinking is that uh, like making in one hour video and uh, covering every manual like manual testing concept in that because like nowadays i'm getting a lot of queries uh, regarding the nodes which um, which i made so i'm going to like from them only or maybe we can uh, like make a separate like a separate document for it and we are going to cover manual testing first and that that will be it okay so i hope like i was able to clear all your doubts and if you felt this was good consider subscribing okay uh, okay thank you guys hope you have a nice day